the professional Leon Hill in the white and green. Marcin Zembala in the red with white trim. And the thing that's immediately apparent here, Dan, and we saw it at the Wayans yesterday, the height and reach yeah. of Leon Hill could be a serious problem for Zambala here. He's going to have to find a way in to put a hurting on Leon Hill. Nice body kick there. Hill just closing his man down. A lot of tall, rangy guys coming out of Team K. If you got the Shelley brothers, mm. Takamandu, Leon Hill, always good for, for getting the sparring in when, you, when you're dealing with guys with similar body types. Yeah, and I think there's a, speaking of which, I think there's going to be a good chance we're going to see a similar takedown attempt with that body lock takedown, pulling that lower back in, driving with the shoulder on the upper body. Hands disconnect a little bit there, so he loses the opportunity, but you saw him, it looked like he was going for it. He's trying to fight with that right hand to force an underhook or, or fight into a double underhook position. Here again, going back to a, trying to take a palm the palm S grip position here. Beautifully done. He's able to get behind that leg and pull backwards into the takedown, straight in the side control here. It actually looks like uh, an attempted... A little like for a second, a possible attempted buggy choke from underneath there. So in a classic uh, attempted uh, escape there, using that underhook on the near side, and now Hill finds himself on top of a north-south position. Gonna take a nice cross face here, but a good job from uh, Zimbala to get back to a half guard. And the rise in the ribs there is Leon Hill. Yeah, this cross face with this arm, you see the right arm of Zimbala is across the body here. This really exposes the torso. I mean, this is a super strong position. If he can pass here, uh, it's a very, very strong position. It opens up an immediate take for the back as well, because the arm is already across the body. Chris Fields calling for the mount. Yeah, that would be a push down of that. A push down of that leg, that, that right leg of Zambala. A pass directly into mount, and because that arm is across, expect to probably see an immediate back take from there. That, that, that would be, in, unless that arm is free, which it just has been, but if that arm is trapped across the far side and you go to take the mount, there's nowhere really else for the opponent to go than to give up the back. And the free arena making noise for Leon Hill here as he lands a nice elbow. Zimbala hanging in there though. Yeah, doing a nice job of, uh, Zimbala's doing a nice job of controlling that wrist. But it becomes very hard to do when someone can elbow you in the head. Oh, big elbow from Leon Hill here. Putting in the work is the Team KF man. Nice underhook on the right hand side of Zimbala. A good option to come round and threaten the back, but possibly get back onto the knees and look to wrestle up from there. Gets back to a close guard position. But these elbows are just opening everything up. Oh, Leon Hill doing the work here in this first round. Big elbows. I mean, Zabala needs to be really careful uh, staying underneath here and just covering up to defend this ground and pound. Mark Goddard can be having a close look. He's got to do something intelligent. Mark Goddard taking a close look here. Zimbala trying to create some space between himself and Leon Hill. But it's not its not enough just simply to push away and then allow the, the space to be closed again and then push away a little bit more. Now, a lot, you know, a lot of these strikes are being caught on the forearms and glove, but it's still rocking the head, make no doubt about it. Back into the close guard now, but a knee shield here. Zambala just wants Hill as far away from him as possible, but with that fence behind him trapping him, he's, he's having no success escaping this position. Another nice elbow from Leon Hill there. Hill passes over into a knee shield half guard position and a great position to continue the strike. And we are talking about that underhook on the near side, and Zambala was able to, well, he's able to. 
he's in the position, he's starting Andre, to begin to utilize it. I don't do think it. he's going to be able to do it in the next five seconds. And you heard Mark Goddard there just say, don't do it as Leon Hill <laughs> looked down and, and must have seen the back of Zimbala's head as the only target. Very, very dominant first round. Mark Goddard taking a, a close look towards the end of the round. And he's going to be keeping an eye on Marcin Zembala here. But let's see if Zembala can get back into this one. Representing Team Torres, so you, you know the grappling is going to be on point if you can get some offensive grappling going. And you hear Chris Fields saying, don't get into those wild exchanges. They know Zembala can bang as well. Picked up a, a huge head kick victory in August of last year. So he's a threat wherever the fight goes. And, and you see those big winging shots there. You don't want to get caught cold with one of those. Chris Fields just asking Leon Hill to keep the hands high. Oh, and there's the head kick from Hill. But he gets caught. Zimbabwe landing a nice right hand there. And again, back into this clinch position. He's trying to go for a double leg. But a nice uh, that right arm and a guillotine attempt here. Often, if you're defending a takedown, the guillotine attack is not the smartest option because it takes away your ability to really defend and you end up being taken down and often lose the guillotine. If only there was some kind of guillotine tutorial available, <laughs> Mr. Daniel Strauss. Find it at apeacademyonline.com. Chris Fields just giving some words of encouragement there, just telling his man that some ballers all over the place here and they want Hill to be disciplined in his approach now, take advantage of that. Yeah, here's a, uh, Hill is kind of trying to force this takedown opposed to trying to break down the position a little bit more like we saw him doing the first round. This is starting, he, he's starting to compose himself a little bit in this clinch. Utilizing the underhook, drops back down for a double now. A much better position, he's able to force this takedown. He's in the guillotine position, but the, I mean, the pressure's on there, but this is all physicality. He's in an arm in position, so this stops the, uh, the that guillotine defense, but now you see how uh, Hill removed that arm, forcing Zembala to uh, release that guillotine, otherwise he could have got one flu. Heavy shoulder pressure there from Leon Hill. Yeah, two minutes 30 here, it's plenty of time to work. He's in the middle of the cage, uh, which usually for effective grappling is a great place to be, but we saw Hill utilize that fence so effectively to land the ground and pound that he was wanting to do. I wouldn't be surprised if Hill tried to move uh, his opponent closer towards the fence to continue a, a similar attacking strategy than he was utilizing in the first round. Otherwise, from here, main option is to either go back and, you know, put himself back into half guard if he wants to throw more elbows and punches or try and uh, transition to the mount position. He looks like he's going to try and attack a, a choke from here. There's the transition to mount, and this is a great position. An a, a attempt from Zambella to uh, try and hold on, but those long legs immediately wrap around in a body triangle. And, I mean, vicious ground and pound again. None, none are getting through the hands, but it's still rocking the skull. Mark Goddard taking a close look now. And beautiful, I mean, the body triangle isn't the best position when you're in a, a, a turtle. Get out of there. When you're in a turtle uh, back, but onto the rear naked choke. The angle isn't perfect, but if he can get the arm underneath the neck, you can see how he's at a little bit of an angle. It might be enough, though. If he can get his body a little bit fresh around the back, he's, you can see he's trying to move around. He's just got to turn himself a little bit more. If he was to snatch the choke from this position, it's going to be better. Zimbala still hanging tough here. Incredible display of grit. So the reason that the body triangle position is not optimal when the person's belly down here is you don't have the ability to put weight into the opponent. Well, these elbows are optimal, and it's over! Leon Hill makes it two for two for Team KF. Yeah, really clinical, really, really nice uh, ground and pound throughout that fight. I mean, managed to get the, uh, the takedown pass over to Mount got to the back position, utilized those long legs to get the body triangle, and then just lands continuous strikes from there. And a very good stoppage. Mark Goddard giving him uh, Zambello all the chance to escape that position, but just not able to do so.